So today I thought we'd just do a really quick review and just sort of a sound test of this here, which is the Squire Classic Vibe 60s Jazz Bass. And um, this is the three tone sunburst version. And I'm just going to be running it through Amplitude and maybe I'll also do uh, it through Guitar Rig, just to show you a couple of the different sounds that you can get with this. And it actually sounds pretty good from my experience. So just a couple of things about it that I really like, and that is the look. I think the three tone look is pretty nice on this one. It's got the classic three plastic knobs here with the little notches on. Um, that's the tone, the two volumes for each picker. You have an Indian laurel neck here. And on the back of the headstock, it says that it's made in Indonesia. The previous classic vibes were made in China and they had quite a good reputation. You can see it also has a skunk stripe on the back of the neck. The headstock has a really nice Squire logo with the classic jazz bass trademark. And it has reverse wound tuning pegs. So um, when you twist it, it actually tunes the opposite way from a modern one, which I actually I quite like. Uh, I kind of prefer it to the, the modern way, but um, you get used to it pretty quickly. Uh, one thing I didn't really like about it, it has what they call a glossy neck, I believe. and it will wear down over time to get more smooth and playable, but it's quite a bit sticky, like it feels a little bit sticky when you're playing it, uh, especially when you compare it to like a satin neck, which feels really smooth. Um, but I think if this was your first instrument, then you wouldn't really notice much, because it does feel pretty nice anyway. So it is a maple neck, and it's kind of slightly aged look. I guess the finish they put on makes it look a bit aged. And... Um, yeah, I quite like the design overall. The pickguard is a tortoise shell, but when you compare this tortoise shell to some of the more expensive ones, um, this one does look cheap. But again, if this is the only one you're getting and this is the first one you've seen, uh, I think it looks better than some of the even lower end models. So unfortunately, one thing I did notice as well was that some of the frets weren't completely leveled properly. So I got a fret rocker and I was testing it on some frets. There were at least two or three that were just slightly uh, uneven, so I think um, for these particular models, the classic vibe, they do sound great and they play great, and they're a really good price for what you're getting. But I think you really do want to go to the shop and actually try them out to see which one plays and feels the best. Um, because I bought this one online, so I wasn't able to check the frets and stuff before I actually bought it. But from what I've read online, there seems to be a lot of variance between uh, what they put out from the Indonesian factory and also the Chinese one as well. So some of them play really great and are like perfectly finished out of the factory. Um, some of them need just a little bit of work to get there. Um, so this one, unfortunately, just needs a little bit of fret work to be perfect. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I think it just sounds really good and looks and feels really good as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play a couple of sounds of a few different uh, amp emulations and just let you hear what it sounds like. Just the bridge pick up. Okay, so both full again and maybe fifty percent time. So let's roll a 
to turn off both pickups for on. This is with the guitar rig clean sound. Both pickups on full tone. Okay, just the bridge. And then just the neck. So that's it, just a really quick look and quick review of the Squire Classic Vibe 60s Jazz Bass. It's really nice and I especially think it's great for beginners, um, if, especially if you're starting out, it's a really great starting bass and has a great sound. Now let me know down in the comment what you think about this bass and also let me know if you're interested in seeing a comparison between the Classic Vibe and the Made in Japan hybrid 60s jazz bass. So I'm planning to do a comparison on that very shortly. So go ahead and subscribe if you're interested in seeing that.